Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is how can we create a record using a base component lightning record form. Let's see. So a lightning record form will be useful for creating or updating the record without writing an Apex class. It provides cancel and save buttons automatically. Okay, because it uses lightning data service. And so for lightning record form, object API name attribute is always required. Okay, to create which kind of object record or to update which kind of object record. Let's see practically. Okay, so along with this base component, you have other base components also lightning record edit form lightning record view form also you can try those things if you need more customization with this lightning record form you have less customizable it is less customizable whenever you need more customizations then you can go with the lightning record edit form or lightning record view form so for now we are going to see the example with lightning record form for creating an account record along with that we are going to see how can we navigate to the record detail page how can we show the toast event or toast message once account is created so let's see as usual to specify or um, to expose our lightning web component to lightning experience either for uh, app builder or uh, tab creation you can use this targets okay <clears throat> let's go practical session so now let's create a lightning web component account create sample okay so now i am saving empty component So let's go with this. So basically for lightning record form, you need to give object API name and fields, which fields you want to use on lightning record, record form to create your record. And once record is successfully created, if you want to perform any action that is navigating to the record or showing the toast message, you have to use this on success. Okay. This is how it looks like. Now let's go to this JS file. And let's prepare all the things what lightning record form needs. Okay, first thing is it needs object API name. So let's prepare <coughs> one property assigning account as object API name. And Next, I'm importing fields account underscore name from Salesforce schema. Schema account dot name. Same way, I'm importing account type. account industry okay now prepare field list array so 
also with the comma separation. Okay, then. So now what we have to do? We have to give these things to template object API name and field list. Okay, on success, what you want to run? So handle account create. Uh, you can give anything okay and it takes the event which returns the record so that record will have ID and all other attributes of the record whatever you are creating now what I want so this is what I did uh, handle account create give this here so let's save this so now let's expose this to lightning experience by using is exposed to true and targets I want to create a tab for this target lightning So now it will be available for tab creation. So now let's go to lightning experience tabs in the setup and in the lightning component tabs. Okay, we are going to create a tab. Account create sample component. You can give anything okay now let's go with this Save. and now my demo application so I have count sample creation This is not there anyway. Add our tab. Account create sample. Tab. Now take this. See, it looks like this. And whatever the fields we gave, it gave like this. It automatically generates the user interface along with a cancel and save buttons. Now I'll make this design good by using card. So I am using this card. So go to HTML. And I want to make this lightning record form as a body of this component simply I am doing copy paste only here using a lightning card for making this beautiful title is account creation
see how it looks like now it is ready to create now i want to show toast messages once it is created along with that i want to navigate this page to a record page when it is successfully created so for that what you have to do you have to import toast event for showing the toast message so imported successfully and then here so i dispatched this event to show the toast message see here title is account create okay for this toast event and message is record id and event dot detail id detail dot id as i told you you can use this event which returns the promise that record that is in detail object okay so from that you can get the id and variant success this attribute is very important always if you want to show the success message make it success if you want to show the error message give error okay and this dot dispatch event you can dispatch this event what you created here now what else we want i want to navigate to record detail page once account is created successfully right along with this toast message for that what you have to you have to import the navigation and you have to extend the class navigation mixin whatever you imported now okay Done. and now let's do this mixin this is the syntax for navigating to the record id if you see here navigation mix in navig dot navigate in that i have different attributes type which type of navigation it is standard record page navigation i want to navigate to a record page and attributes record id so it gives the record id to navigate object aba name you are assigning the account and action name is view so because we want to navigate to the record detail page that is view only so let's deploy this Okay, now we're your foundation and agriculture done. See, it gave toast message and it navigates to the account record. See here, now we're your foundation. We successfully able to create account record without writing any Apex class and with Lightning record form, which is a one of the base component of Lightning components. Okay, now let's recap once again. Here, if you see here, we are importing each and every field. You may have that, you may have one doubt. What is the need of importing every field? Okay, why don't we use all fields at a time? Yes, you can do like this also. Dynamically, you can prepare list of fields dynamically also. here industry okay so what is the difference between about importing every field and adding into array and adding field names dynamically here so the difference is first thing is if there is no such kind of field like for example type is not there in the account object then if you import such kind of field 
then you can see the errors or uh, VS Code give you the error that it is invalid field. That means at the time of compile itself, you can see that errors and you can avoid. But if you use like this, then what is going to happen? It is a runtime. It will throw you error at runtime if there is any invalid field. So that's why always try to import the field from schema, Salesforce schema, then you can see the errors. Um, you can see the exceptions on compile time itself. Okay. Both are same basically. So, but best one is importing field from Salesforce schema. So now let's recap. So what we did, we imported three fields from Salesforce schema, account name, account type, account industry, and you imported toast event, imported navigation, and declared a property for uh, holding the object API name. You prepared a field list array for uh, making it making all these fields available on lightning record form and you created a handle account create okay so this is getting triggered whenever account is created successfully by using on success event on lightning record form and you are preparing the event and uh, triggering the event or dispatching the event here and you are navigating to the record page by using navigation. This is how you can work with lightning record form. And you made this available for tab creation by using targets. Okay. And you can see this code in our Salesforce textbook GitHub. Okay. This is example code of sessions. That is the repository name. You can go through that or otherwise you can see in salesforcewalker.blogspot.com also. Okay. This is how you can work with lightning record form. So you can have references for more information. Please subscribe to Salesforce Tech Book. All the best.